You have probably heard the stat that despite media attention and government policies to combat obesity, generations of children will live shorter lives than their parents. The documentary Fed Up explores that issue and it's coming to Fayetteville. Judy Klink is the executive director of Better Health in Fayetteville and she joins me now. As I was saying right before we started, I'm on my soapbox about this all the time, so I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for having me. So Better Health is a nonprofit committed to better health for people in Cumberland County. Why was it important to bring this film to the community? Diabetes education is one of our main programs. And since obesity is a main risk factor for diabetes, it's a natural fit. Mm -hmm. We're also trying to promote childhood obesity prevention because, of course, it's better to start in childhood than Absolutely. adulthood. So uh, this uh, film fits in with all of those topics. So tell me more about the film. What will we learn? The, the film is uh, basically about sugar and the food industry and how we all are probably addicted to sugar. Mm -hmm. I know I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, it, but it's showing up in all sorts of places. 80% uh, of our food, 600,000 food items in a typical grocery store, 80% of them have added sugars. Mm. But so although there are many aspects to um, maintaining a, a healthy weight, uh, this film particularly addresses that topic. Mm. After the screenings that you have this week, there are panel discussions. Yes, each screening we have uh, three panel members uh, from the community, a physician, a registered dietitian, and a chef. So is it a Q&A, or what do you hope that you will bring out in these panel discussions? Well, each uh, panel member gives their reactions to the movie, and then we do take questions from the audience. And our first showing yesterday was very uh, lively and informative discussion. Mm, tell me about that. Did people have any take any issue with the movie, or did you find that people were nodding along as they watched? Everyone who was in yesterday's showing seemed to um, take the message to heart, although it can be controversial, it can be looked at controversially. Uh, most people were trying to do what we're trying to do, and that is start some awareness and conversation about obesity. Right. And where are, what are the obesity stats in Cumberland County? Um, in, well, in first in North Carolina, we are um, about 20 from the bottom in states uh, wow. with obesity. And in uh, Cumberland County, we are at about 32 percent, which is high in the state. Eastern North Carolina as a whole has higher obesity rates than the other parts of the state. So in terms of taking action, because we don't want to just watch the film, we want to watch the film and then take action. What is the, I guess, the take home message? Is it to read labels when you're shopping or what is it that you hope that people will do? Reading labels is a big key point of the movie uh, because unfortunately right now we're not getting enough information about the added sugars on the labels. But if you don't read the label, you don't know how many uh, grams of sugar are in a product. Mm -hmm. So yes, label reading would be a very good start. Um, also, if you go to the um, Fed, Up, uh, Fed Up Movie website, you can uh, join a um, sugar detox program. Um, I think the idea is that we all try to reduce the sugars in our diet. I don't think anyone can do a complete removal of sugar overnight, mm -hmm. but um, get a good start. I was, I read labels religiously, and I was really surprised to see sugar in things like bread. Yes. Even in the whole wheat and the whole grain, they, they are not created equally, so you have to read the labels to see which one have sugar and which ones don't. Yes, and one of the problems I have with it is that some products have naturally occurring sugars and you can't separate them from the added sugars. And yogurt is an example of this mm -hmm. because milk sugar would show up on the label as a sugar, but then there are also several teaspoons of added sugar in most yogurts. Mm. Okay, so you've got two screenings left this week. Yes. And those are uh, what days? Wednesday, tomorrow and well, Saturday? Tomorrow, Wednesday at 5.30 and Saturday morning at 11.30. Okay, and panel discussions afterwards. Yes. All right, thank you so much. Again, fed up the movie at the Cameo Art House Theater. Catch the screenings July 9th at 5.30, July 12th at 11.30, just $5.